Hey, Drip here. Welcome back to another video, and today I got Masters 30 Masters. So he's going to be uh, here today. Today is currently, I think, the start of August? No, it's actually not. It's the 30th. Okay, yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say, what are, you, what are you watching? But, yeah. This is going to be a tackle box walkthrough. So right here is where what I keep in my pocket when I'm like I don't feel like taking my freaking tackle box. What are you doing? I'm gonna record you. Okay. You're a little camera man. Alright. You don't have to be that freaking close. Alright, give me it! <laughs> okay, I got it. Okay, just give me it. Just give me it. No, it's fine, give it's fine, it. it's fine, yeah! Alright, so right here, some of my jigs that I got for <laughs> for a uh, crappie and, and right stuff. here is like this neon. It's okay. that's also a crappie jig, and I got these new bobbers and hooks and an ice jig and some stuff off of that box. Oh, and I got a rooster tail in there. We're gonna start small and then get into the big. Like I got in my plane. Stop! I want to record ya! Wait, you gotta stand up. Okay. I'll record ya. Just get up here and like... Push. Don't press anything. Just don't press the end of video because I want to actually do this. End video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so right here is a uh, rebel crawl. You guys wonder why his eyes are back there? It's because they move like that when they swim. So I like that bait. But, uh, here's one of my new rooster tails. And this one I catch a lot of yellow bellies on. This one right here. This one is a pretty good one. Never really caught anything on there, but my brother did. Then here is like a bluegill kind of thing. Get the mouse off right there. Uh,. And here's two rebel crawls. I got a rebel. Get out of there. <laughs> the problem with freaking bass baits. But that's a rebel crawl, and then I got another one in there for like river fishing. And I'll get into my equipment. That I got. This here for measuring fish. So this is a, a six foot measure, measuring tape. Then in here, it's a pretty cool thing. Got a bunch of these things. Also this. Like, hey, is there you need a uh, tooth, tooth pull? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. Oh, and another thing is, guys, I'm selling my DK. So when I get 80 bucks, me and him are going to do a. Um, it's absolutely for sale. Oh. We're going to actually um, do a, um, a little thing at Bass Bar Shop, 80 bucks challenge, 80 dollar challenge, and come on over here. Just chill with them. Change. Yeah. All right, so we got my knife. You suck. Oh, there we go. Uh, I've actually, my dad actually skinned a buck with this knife, uh, the one that is in uh, my brother's room. Spider, and he's about to die. I'm sorry, little Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry, little Phil. <laughs> 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 I'm going to watch the video. Alright, this is like... I cut my arm there sometimes. <laughs> Gotcha. Huh? Then here is some good walleye baits. But this is a homemade bobber. It's pretty cool. Uh, and here is a empty case. And this is how they like tie knots and stuff. In there. But this is what you can use for like walleye and stuff, like near a dam or something. On to the next side. 
Realistic looking ones. If I was a bass, I would totally eat that. But it comes with this yum stuff. And what? Fake no, it's a crawfish. Uh, starty fruiting. It says yum starty fruiting, fr feeding frenzy. You can sell that. Then I got some of these. Some of these ones. Uh, so yeah, and that's that. Now moving into the front where my crappie tackle is. So I put this back in here and put this if I can fit into this freaking bag. I'm buying a new one when I go to a Bass Pro Shop. So I got some crappie nibbles right here. Over here, please. Cameraman. This is a holy grail. <laughs> crappie jigs. So I actually gonna show you the jig that I called a uh 14 inch crappie, that, and I was just jigging it, and that sucker freaking huge, but, uh, you okay? This is some uh, crappie. Uh, there's a crappie hook. A These are actually those um, things sponsored by Mr. Crappie. <laughs> I don't want to say sponsored, but it's Mr. Crappie, number one fishing lures. I don't believe that. Uh, Strike King. <laughs> it says women out every time with Mr. Crappie's lures by Strike King. Huh. <laughs> you know how much that thing was? 200 bucks. 200 bucks for this? Whoever sold you this must be crazy. Hey, check screwed. Give her a lot. Yeah, do this special thing. You're wondering why I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm just forgetting it. So, as I pause the video, and he's, I'm going to lay all these out. Good now? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I just started. So I'm going to start off with the, um, these over here. One of my main favorites is that you can get some nice bass on this. And I have some more realistic ones. This is, I really don't know what kind of fish this is, but you just easily just... A water fish, I'm thinking? Yeah, probably. <laughs> sure. Um, I catch a lot of fish on those, just like bulldog and stuff, but you can catch a lot with those. So, then, I'm going on to bobbers and stuff. This is a lot of flies and stuff. Oh, and this is actually the rig that I caught um, that 14 inch on. And I put a crappie nibble on that, and he striked that thing. But here's all my bobbers and stuff. I like these ones mainly. It's like a, one of my favorites, but, uh, hang on. <laughs> To uh, crankbaits and some other stuff. Here, I think it would mainly be for like big bass and crappie, white bass too. Um, it's mainly one of my favorite ones that I fish with. I like it because of the color on it, but I found this crankbait. I'm gonna go buy some uh, new, because look at how rusty those are. I'm gonna go buy some new hooks for that, and I found this one too. Rusty hooks too. I'm gonna go buy some more. And this is a good one. Well, never really caught anything on it. But it's got a treble hook at the bottom and just a regular hook. And then I got this. Are these wooden? No, those are actually homemade. This is a uh, hula popper. It's a good bait for topwater bass. And this I need to go buy some hooks for down there. And that's where... I guess I wouldn't know what this would be for. We are going to do an eight. We may do an eighty dollar. Yeah. Sporting goods. It's not dicks. Um, bass pro. Yeah. Bass pro socks. And uh, this is actually a good one. Right here, you can cut some 
see the head? That's like a minnow, so you could get anything, like a bass, anything. Then we got these homemade ones. My grandpa made this one, so that's pretty special to me. That's why I don't fuss with it. Um, but here's what, like a rebel crawl kind of guy. Use it in the river and stuff. Comment down below if you ever river fished. River fishing is awesome. My brother got was filing a salt on a uh, thing. And actually, uh, when we get done with this, I'm going to show you my fishing poles. So, right up here, we're going to get into this in a minute, is a couple of jigs and mainly bobbers, sinkers, uh, bead stops, and these Crawfish, little... Crawfish, big crawls. We got that, too, and that's like your, uh, yep. And then moving on to the, uh, ones that I mainly like right here. So, I mainly like these. Uh, they're Senkos. Isaiah, I want you to smell that. Hang on. Let's see if it still smells, though. Tell me what that smells like. Black licorice, don't it? Yeah, it does. That's why I mainly think the bass will like it, because it smells like black licorice. And here's your rig for it. This is a Texas rig right here. And then you just hook it right through there. And wacky rig is where you take this hook and just put it right through that like a night crawler. Then they'll just go crazy on it. This is for like river, creek chubs, and stuff like that. Big old ones. Here is one that I've never fished with right here. I'm going to fish with that next time I go up to a river or a uh, big old lake. But yeah, that's that. A big old and, lake. Oh yeah, big old lakes. I need to find a... Guys, comment down below your favorite, like, tackle box. Because I need a bigger tackle box. Look at that tackle box. That cannot hold all this. But, uh, it, I found out what it is. This is a good one. I've never used it before. A lot of my, my grandpa told me he caught a nice three-pounder on this. And that's my PB, a three-pounder. And I think it looks pretty real, so I'm going to use that next time we go up to a lake or a pond. So, I was you want to give an overlook of what's in there. Alrighty. Now, I'll pause the video and I'm going to get in in a sec with you guys when I get all this stuff back in my tackle box and in my pool. Okay. <laughs> so, I got my poles here, guys. Um, Catfish poles, so uh, I'll go ahead and show some of this. This looks like a freaking shark pole, if you think about it. Whoa. Uh, uh, what the size of this? This hook, carp too. Use chicken liver, or if you want to take some strawberry jello, and then do with that, and just mix it in the bag, leave it in the freezer until night, until you go overnight, until you go to the lake. Then uh, this is a nice little pain pole. Got a nice little blue on it. Had that for a couple weeks. And this I need to rig up, and I'm gonna do that in another video. Well, maybe I might do it in this video too to the end, so I'm going to lay this over here, and I will, and you guys, well, I'm going to rig it up, and you guys got to choose, it can't be a bass bait because I can't throw it out there real good, you guys are going to have to choose what that is, it's going to have to be regular, rather, crappie, or something else, like blue, then here is a nice bass bait, I'm going to get some right out, here is a nice bass bait, be mainly for bass, top water, rope. All you gotta do is like stuff like that. So uh, like, yeah, that's that. I don't go to the top. I don't like putting it on my pool. Here's mainly why my I caught a uh, five pound carp on this, but not on this rig. It's got a uh, nice size hook right there. Eight pound test. That is all my hooks, guys, so make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and choose what that poll is going to be on, like, rigged up for, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.